Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Robin Jangit here, your electrical faculty and in this video I am going to talk about the principle and the necessity of the AC control. So let's talk about one by one, I have considered the different different points here so that you can thoroughly uh, go through these points and understand all the concepts related with this topic. <music> So let's start with this one. So I will start with the point that is saying that is I'm talking about the basic principle of uh, the AC control. So what is the basic principle? So for it is saying for the typical HVDC system that is high voltage direct current system can be represented to the equivalent circuit. So that typical HVDC system, what is that typical HVDC system? It is consisting from the AC that is the from generating side then you will have i am uh, i am talking about the main components okay so for, from the generating stations it will go to your converter station number 1 that is your rectifier and then it will go through the hvdc lines then it will go for uh, your converter station number 2 that is uh, your inverter and then it will go for the load okay guys now what will happen if i consider in uh, uh, all in one in one then it will be a equivalent circuit consisting uh, the both the rectifier and the inverter and in between them there will be your hvdc links okay so let's talk about that so if i consider the system is uh, symmetrical if we talk about the midpoint so if we are considering the midpoint of that that is from rectifier then hvdc link then inverter so in between them if i consider the midpoint of that or you can say the midpoint of the terminal stations okay midpoint of the terminal stations therefore the half portions can be considered for analysis why this half portions is co uh, considered for the analysis because it is symmetrical if i consider at the midpoint so it will be symmetrical and the left side and the right side portion will be going to be the symmetrical here so let's talk about what is that equivalent circuit now so if we talk about the equivalent circuit so equivalent circuit is going to be considered the rectifier then it will have the inverter okay so one side it is going to have a rectifier which will convert the ac to dc conversion and uh, on the inverter side there will be a conversion from dc to ac okay guys now look at here the total equivalent circuit of hvdc this is here total equivalent circuit of hvdc link so what is that here this is the voltage is connected that is the vdo1 cos alpha here the vd2 cos gamma on the rectifier side we are going to uh, cover alpha that is the uh, your firing angle and on the inverter side we are going to cover the beta and the gamma now there will be the rc1 and this is the rc2 now look at here these are the some points here so now we will have the voltage which is uh, actually varying and that depending on the values we actually require to uh, control okay so the voltage controlling is also seen there so vdo1 cos alpha is uh, seen here now there will be a resistance value that is the rc1 which is going to be 3 omega ls upon pi here the value of resistance r there will be a minus rc2 3 omega ls upon pi okay for from here to here it will a uh, total voltage that is the vd1 okay plus minus and here it will have the vd2 that is a plus minus and the total value generally this is a kind of the negative resistance we are going to consider and we will talk about in the further lectures now look at here so i can say that the, on the left side if i talk about the on the left side what is that what is actually the left side this is the left side portion and this is the right shot portion now so it is saying that the left side portion it is consist, uh, consisting the rectifier on the right side portion it is consisting the inverter okay so what you have to consider assume both the operate at the constant delay angles alpha beta and gamma these are actually the delay angles alpha beta beta is the advancement angle and gamma is uh, your angle of extinction and according to that we are we are going to control the many uh, uh, waveforms or you can say the many terminal equipments okay so now assume both the operate at the constant values so we have to consider for going uh, through this topic we have to consider that these values are uh, constant or you can say will be the same throughout your uh, 
uh, considerations or throughout your this concept values now now what happens if i talk about this id this is a dc current so this dc current is uh, what happens we have the two terminals on the rectifier side on the inverter side on the rectifier side that is a you can consider it as a node on the inverter side you can also consider as another node so in between that node there will be a potential difference so that potential difference upon the total resistance is going to be there so that is the id current now so that is the vd1 minus vd2 upon rc1 plus r okay that total resistance is so in between them so that is the vd0 cos alpha minus vd2 cos beta or gamma upon divided by the resistance what is the total resistance in between them so if we talk about the total resistance so it will be the rc1 r minus rc2 likewise it will have the three different resistance which are connected in series so here we have used the total resistance values total or resistance values now the change of the current and the power transfer can be altered using one of the case it is saying if we are interested in changing the values of current or the power which is transferred from one end to another end that can be altered or that can be changed and uh, it or you can say these can be changed by using the different uh, the cases i have listed there and what are actually these cases let's talk about one by one control angle of the rectifier the control angle of the rectifier it signifies that this is the firing angle by varying the firing angle or as we also know if we are using the dual converter by the value by the changing the value of the alpha that we have that we have studied in you can say the power electronics that if the all values of alpha is varying from 0 to 90 and 90 to 180 then the operation is operation can be changed from rectifier to inverter okay now second is the control angle of the inverter and what is the control angle of the inverter control angle of the inverter is a beta that is the advancement angle which is here okay that is the advancement angle angle of advancement advancement angle and this is the gamma this is uh, you can say angle of extinction okay now the point number 3 rectifier transformer secondary winding voltage by using one second by using the tap changer what is the tap changer tap changer is a kind of uh, you can say the different turn different turns if you are as in, if you are using at a tapping tapping it means it is a connection okay so at the different tapping different tapping or you can consider at the different turns it will have the different uh, values of the voltage as we know that v1 upon v2 is equal to n1 upon n2 and also we know the emf equation of the transformer that the voltage value is going to be changed according to number of turns as we increase or decrease the values of turns then it is going to be changed in the voltage also okay guys so you have to understand about that also now we are going for the point number 4 this point number 4 signifies that the inverter transformer the same thing is written that is inverter inverter whatever the rectifier whatever is the written for the rectifier so the same is written for the inverter because both are actually the converters and uh, kind of the similar thing but uh, depending on the variables they can be differed by now so this is the inverter here now now we will talk about the what are the actual necessity of the control in the hvdc link so if we talk about the necessity of hvdc link uh, sorry the control in the hvd ceiling so why it requires if you talk about the hvd ceiling the current is sensitive to change in the voltage resulting in the large fluctuations which can damage the thyristors so what is actually signifies here in hvd ceiling high voltage direct current link we have different types of links we have studied so current is sensitive to change in the voltage so what happens there are the chances that due to the some disturbances okay so what happens the voltage is changing as the current is sensitive so according to the change in voltage there will be seen the some changes in the current also 
if there are the changes or as it is written the sensitive to change in the voltage it means it it is having if the voltage is changing due to the some disturbance or due to the some equipment failure or due to the some equ equipments uh, different connections at the different time then the current is going to be changed there so as it is depending on the change in the voltage so what will happen what will happen that causes that causes a large fluctuations and which can damage which can damage the thyristors that is the walls okay now thus controlling the power is needed so we need to control the power and what is the actually power the power is vd into id vd is your dc voltage and id is your dc current now so what are the actually advantages of using that control but uh, one thing you you have to remember the both cannot be controlled at the same time because uh, that will require some additional costing related with the innovations so what we are actually doing we are uh, actually changing the one variable at a time and another variable at the other stations at other time so that you have to remember okay now we will go for the advantages of the control so if we are uh, using that control in the hvd ceilings though now we will have the, the different different points here now the current order setting this is the current cos that we generally uh, call it the cos setting that is the current order setting can be quickly okay that should be a fast and reliably changed or depending on the requirements whatever our requirements and depending on the whatever whatever our loads depending on those values it can be changed there now the power reversible can be done easily and quickly the power reversal can be seen there from uh, the rectifier to inverter uh, then inverter to rectifier can also be possible there by changing the different values so of the voltage and the resistance now the fault current levels are limited to the rated values limited to so let us talk about uh, let us say there is a fault uh, occurs and uh, due to this fault uh, some damages can be seen so what happens this can be transmitted to the other equipments so if we are using the control techniques here and on the you can say the rectifiers or the inverters on the control controlling schemes on the uh, converters so what will happen they will not allow the change or uh, they will not allow the currents to flow or, or you can say the short circuit or fault current to flow okay that will minimize that values so and that is actually limited to the rated values now look at here because uh, as the value of resistance is low so high value of current can be uh, seen there so if the high current values are going to flow that that may damage your equipment so that we, that is the benefit of using the control schemes okay so i hope you have understood all the concepts related with this topic thank you so much